Hello, my name's Simon Bingham and this is part of my video series on Junos for the JNCLE Enterprise exam. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a series of videos on the BGP path selection um, referencing exactly the Juniper documentation. So if you Google um, Junos BGP path selection, you'll basically end up at this page. Now, this page um, lists in uh, a number of, you know, in numbered points um, how how the operating system um, determines what path to use. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through each one of these one by one, explaining what they are and and of course showing them by example. So the first one is verify that the next path can be resolved. Now it's kind of obvious really in a way, but obviously the way June the, the way BGP works is it, it advertises um, a network layer reachability information. Now, so what it can say, for example, it can advertise from one route to another. Um, let me show you an example here. Um, let me bring up my diagram here. So what this, if we show you these routers here, this is my little lab going on. Sorry if the di diagram's a bit crowded, but um, what BGP will do in certain cases, it won't change the destination address. So what it will do, let me give you an example. Say we have this, this network here. BGP will, if if I've set BGP up to do it, could advertise to this router via eBGP that you know this network is available. Now this will then advertise to all its peers, hey, if you want to get to this network, you need to come to here, right? 10.0.1.0. Uh, so in effect, it's saying you get it, this guy, you need to go to this address. Now this is great for this guy because he knows how to get to this address. But when he advertises the exact same information, he doesn't change himself to be the natural, you know, he doesn't really take over. He doesn't say, to reach this guy, come to me, come to my address or any of my addresses. He says, to reach this guy, you need to come here. So let's just give a quick demonstration of that. Okay, so first let's have a look at what information um, R3 is advertising um, over to R10. So let's do top run run sorry, run show BGP no. root advertising protocol BGP to the neighbour and what I do I'm, we're all using the loopback addresses these addresses in the purple here are addresses we're interested in so I'll do neighbour I just put the address in 10.0.0.0.10 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 100. Let's see what we're advertising to this other guy. So look, we are advertising this network here, okay, to our neighbour. So it's there, look, there it is there. So now let's have a look and look on R10, which is its neighbour, and have a look in the routing table. So let's do uh, run show root 100.0.0.0.10.24. Hmm, there's nothing there. Let's try hidden. Oh look. So what's it saying here? So it's saying here the path is unusable. So let's have a look and have see what we're receiving on router ten. So let's go um run show root receive protocol. BGP from 100. So what are we receiving from that neighbour we were just talking about? Okay, so we're receiving a route. We're only the one about this 13 year. It says here four hidden. Okay, let's have a look at the hidden ones. Um, okay, there's some hidden routes. Let's do hidden detail. Okay. Okay, look at this. So it's telling us here, right, we're receiving a route for that. It's a 24 we were interested in, wasn't it? So look, it's saying here the next hop of that is there. So let's have a look. That is actually, if you look, that address there. So this guy is advertising how to get to 24, and he's saying you need to go here. Now the problem is, is that this router has no idea how to get here at all. He knows how to get to other places on here, but he, his routing protocol doesn't stretch that far, so he can't reach it. So... Let's see if we can find some more information about that route to finally um, 
um, prove uh, run the point home. So do you run show root 100.0.0.0.24 detail it says it's unusable hidden detail look it's saying here next hop unused usable so how do we resolve this well I have to actually break my network slightly if I just show you um, what I had running before because I had to break this to demonstrate this point was if we do Edit policy policy statement into IBGP. So basically, this is a, I've got a policy running on this router here, determining how things get forwarded around IBGP. Um, so if we do show, and I'll act to inactivate these terms. So what? What we have to do is we just have to use the next hop cells next hop self statement um, so what I've done here I've said if basically if it's BGP um, and it's coming from that neighbor so it's coming from this guy yes yeah, so any routes I receive from him I want this router to say look you need to not send them to him you need to send them to me so if we look at the um, it drives me mad this stuff the um, send send it to myself so if I just reactivate those rules and I've got another rule here accepting all BGP. So base, basically, what it, the path of this is for these, it sets its next hop self and then it falls through here and then it accepts all BGP routes after that. So let's do activate term two and activate term three. Okay. Now let's have a little look before we were looking at the um, receive routes. So let's see what we're receiving from 13. Um, we're receiving this route, but this time the next hop is actually the loopback address. Now, obviously, actually the loopback address ha has, has to be reachable. Now, it just happens so that in this circumstance, I have um, another route pro protocol running which advertises um, the loopbacks all around this network. So I think that is the first video we have um, demonstrated that. Um, you need the, the BGP needs to check the next hop can be resolved. It's kind of obvious one really, and if it's not resolved, um, it can't be resolved, then it won't put it in the BGP. Um, it won't allow won't put it in the routing table. Um, and a common way around this, as I said, as I've just demonstrated, is using the next hop self and changing you know changing how that works. Uh, how it works. Okay, um, my next video will be on choosing the path with lowest preference.